Welcome back. Not that long ago, I talked to you guys in January actually regarding the Omate True Smartwatch, the Pebble Smartwatch, and the Galaxy Gear. Today, I'm going to focus a little bit on the Galaxy Gear. We're going to talk about rooting the Galaxy Gear, getting the Expose installer onto this device, as well as getting Gravity Box to run on it. So, today, we're going to cover rooting, installing Gravity Box, and the Expose installer. Let's check it out. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we want to do is download some files and put those on our device. The main thing we want to do is download the ATP files. Again, I'll give you guys the links in the description below the video. Go through, download all those files. You need to download four other files. The ES File Explorer, again, links below. Gravity Box, Super User APK, as well as the, um, of course, the Expose Installer. Without that, we wouldn't be able to install Gravity Box. The main tool that we're going to use to actually root our device is called Cydia Impactor. So you need to download that as well as the ADB uh, drivers for your Samsung device. I'm pretty sure you guys should be able to install that and get that set up. Once you have that installed, the one thing you want to make sure is that your device is connected. So we'll open up a terminal command line here just to be able to basically see, make sure that we have. We'll do ADB devices. We see the device and it actually says device. If you get the message that it's offline, unplug and plug back in your device, which is your um, you know, Galaxy Gear. Before you do that, there was one step that we need to do, and I have that showing here on the left side. You need to turn on the debugging the, uh, mode on your device. You go under the gear, you go settings, you go about gear, and the, in there, there's an option that says software. And in the software option, you just double click or keep tapping that one until it tells you that the developer option is turned on. And once you go back one step to where you just used to say about gear, now you have another option that says the USB debugging. You turn that on, your device will be able to communicate, and then we'll be able to basically see that we have the gear here as a device. So we'll do ADP devices again, we can see it. The next thing we want to do here is we'll go into the City Impactor tool and launch it. So it's going to take a few seconds to do that. It has the command pre filled in for us, and then we'll just go ahead and say hit start. It should take no more than 10 seconds to actually install. Okay, so we'll go back now to the main folder itself. Again, once we're done with the root process, that's easy. After that, we'll go ahead and actually start doing the other process, which essentially is installing the super user APK. So again, we turn on another terminal window. We'll go into the Galaxy Gear. And we'll go ahead and say ADB install. And then we can install the actual files themselves. So we'll say, first thing we want to do is the ES File Explorer. Okay, and that's APK. It gives us the size. So it's going to put the package through. Now, it's giving me a failure not because it's not going to work, it's because I've already installed this. I'm going through the process just to show you guys that how to do that process. Uh, we'll go through the same thing. You just need to do the, uh, again, you replace the ES File Explorer with the file name that you want to actually install. So in this situation, the next one we're going to want to do is the Super User, the Expose Installer, and the Gravity Box uh, APKs. Once you have those installed, we'll go ahead and switch over to our device. We need to reboot the device once after we actually root and install the Super SU so that the Super SU binary can actually kick in. And we'll jump onto our, our device from there. So main thing you want to do is restart your device and once you have that device restarted your super user APK should be fine and installed in there. We'll go under application, swipe to the left and here we are. Super SU, it's already been installed. We'll go under apps. Now I've already accessed uh, Expose Installer as well as ES5 Explorer, that's why we see them here. You swipe down and then the other thing you want to do here no, we don't want to go into this application. The other thing you want to make sure here that you have is obviously ES File Explorer. You'll be able to go into Gravity Box, and that's normal. The other thing we also want to make sure is we have, here we are, our Expose Installer. Expose Installer is installed. You get the main tabs. Obviously, you have the framework. It's already been installed and updated. We don't need to worry about it. It's updated to the latest version. Then we go under Modules. And we'll find that Gravity Box is already installed for us. Again, it installs itself, but once you install the APK, uh, the actual uh, Expose installer and then install the uh, actual module and then restart it, then you'll be able to turn it on. You go back and everything is fine. Now, the flickering that's happening here, because I think it's due to actually for it to restart, so we're going to go ahead and restart the device. Go under Apps. Again, we still have ES File Explorer, Gravity Box, and then we have Super User. And we actually actually have the installer here. So we'll go back here. And here's our gravity box. And under status bar tweaks, we'll go up a little bit and we'll see that we have Pi controls. Now, I already had uh, turned on Pi controls. It says 
you want to turn it on, you know, show the keys, you, know, you don't want to do that, that's not an issue. Always show menu button, yes. Trigger position, I have that set to be on the right side, so I'll say OK. And then you can control, of course, and set it up. We'll go back home. And actually, let's just go back home to the main screen. And then the main thing you want to do is just, I just swipe it over from the right. And then I can see here that we have Gravity Box installed and running. And Pi Controls is actually running pretty well. The other thing we make sure to get out of Gravity Box is the ability to be able to get, actually get into Multitask. And we'll go in here. We have one application running, but we also have the ability to clear all running applications within Gravity Box. So I can just go ahead and click this. It'll close all application. And again, if I press and hold that, it will close everything but the last application that I was in. Other than that, the device still runs the same way. You don't have any issues. You can swipe down, you get the camera, take a picture very quickly, um, swipe up, get the dialer. Everything still works the same way. The, ga the gear itself doesn't change the difference. The main thing you want to keep in mind here is now we only rooted the device. We didn't install a custom recovery. We don't have the ability to install the null run on this yet. So to do that, there's an extra couple of steps. I'd like, I'll like i be interested to see if you guys are we, uh, be wanting to see that kind of video. So let me know if you'd like to see, a obviously, a recovery installation as well as a null run uh, installation on the Galaxy Gear. Hope you guys like this. As you can see, the process is not exactly that complicated. You just need to be comfortable using an actual uh, terminal and be able to use ADB. And actually, even if you don't have ADB, there's, a, there's actual applications on the market that will do some of this functionality, be able to sync up directly with the gear. But I wanted to cover for you guys the basic process that would not require you to purchase any software and is easy and is available for you right now. Uh, I gave you guys links in the, in the description below the video to cover all the information that I have, all the downloads that I showed you guys in the video. It's pretty simple. If you have a Galaxy Gear, check it out. If you don't have a Galaxy Gear, again, like I said, it's about $150 right now for the original Galaxy Gear on the Swappa.com website. It's a steal. It's very no nice price. You can even get it running on other devices. Um, you, there's custom ROMs on it. And this is something I'll be interested to know from you guys. Would you be interested in seeing a you know, cu you know custom recovery installation and a custom some ROM on the Galaxy Gear. I don't know. Let me know. Um, hope you guys like this. Let me know what you think. Uh, like and subscribe to this channel. Like and subscribe to my channel. And as usual, I will see you guys soon.